Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Alabama's run the gauntlet so far this season. They sit atop the polls very late in the year. This is the time of the season when every opponent knows that they can spoil your dream, they can rush the field, tear down the goalposts, and tear down your dreams in the process. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Johnson fields it at the three. He's to the 20. Room around the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 45. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback, and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. Wright's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. the middle for a nice game. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good gain for the offense. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 21-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From the 21-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 19. The running back gets two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Tackle at the eight yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's out of bounds at the five-yard line. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After a beauty play, the rule on the field is reversed. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. And 
he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He's under pressure. Quick strike, and he drops it. This should be an easy field goal. Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. The Roadrunners are out front, 10-7. Reese, 3-0 here. The Williams has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Shake the defense. That brings him second and five. Roger, Roger. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Rose complete. He's got space to work. And they make the stop around the 33 yard line. From the 33 yard line. It's first down. It's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're packed in tight on the line. the 24. Third down. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Inside the 10, and he's tackled at the 8. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 3-0, Alabama. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. They'll bring him down around the six-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. 
That brings him second and goal. goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mike check, 33. 33. Nice run to the outside. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Gators! When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, time to check in in College Station. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Aggies deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. Ramsey's already starting to show off that arm, having thrown for more than 150 yards. The Aggies have the lead, 17-10, getting close to halftime. 7-3 in this one. Florida to kick. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 36. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. made at the 38. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 38-yard line. Quick throw, and he's taken down around the 43-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Hines takes a handoff. He gets to about the 24-yard line. That's good for a of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. run there decent game there on the play by the running back and that's enough for the first he knew where he had to go to get the first down and he got there nice run from the 20 yard line first down right it's another carry runs right for a nice game that'll make it second and four Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the seven-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Hines gets about four yards on the play. Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Touchdown, Alabama!
line to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A nine play, 65 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. Oh, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's tackled right away. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Scrambling around. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll, That'll make it 31. Hey, defense. Hey, defense. Let's go. Hey, check 533. Check 533. Go. This is long. He scrambles. He dives, and he'll be marked down. You know, Brad, on these third downs where it's third and medium, it gives the play caller a chance to run the football or to throw the football. And in this case, I think we think the defense was sitting back thinking about more of the pass game, and it opened up some running lanes, and the offense was able to take advantage of that and convert for a first down. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. First and 10, ball on the 33. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's scrambling. Fumble, loose ball. It's picked up by the defense. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Alabama has a three-point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second and seven. Ball on the 18. A great first half comes to a close. 10-7, Crimson Tide. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The big fellas on the offensive line dominating this game right now. I mean, the defensive linemen in the pass rush, they've got no shot of having any idea of what's going on with the quarterback. They can't even reach it. Well, you know what? It's nice to be a quarterback that sits back in the pocket and he kind of pats the football once, twice, three times. And then, Reese, he scrambles and runs around because he's bored. That's what he did in the first half. I mean, the protection could not have been any better. The quarterback had all day to throw the football. If that doesn't change, it's going to be a long second half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good... Like a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. 
Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Taken from the three-yard line. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires it out, and he's hit immediately. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Good tackle there in space. That brings up third and ten. Zips it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. And now they should come away with pretty good field position, so consider that a big stop. Hendricks is back deep to return the punt. Hendricks fields it at the 27. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Alabama holds a field goal lead. He's at midfield. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 31 yard line. First down. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. one there for the halfback. From the 26-yard line, it's third down. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. So the score now, Alabama 13, Florida 7. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Alabama's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 33. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Take four, take four. 
they'll get him in the backfield. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. Boy, these kind of plays result in a lot of confidence from this defense and the defensive coordinator. I will not be surprised to see this defense continue to bring this kind of pressure against this offense. Cunningham awaits the snap. Got the corner. He's at midfield. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Alabama with a six-point lead. Throws it deep. Incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Here's the give. And they make the stop at about the 49. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. The crowd really making it difficult. And he's leveled at the 44-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Battle is the punter. Brought down at the 20. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run to the outside. So at the end of the third quarter, Alabama leads it. 13-7. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. fourth quarter it's third and five ball on the 24 yard line you've got to wonder here early in the fourth quarter if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it Hendricks is the deep man awaiting the return Gets past the tackler. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Alabama is up by six. They'll work the left side. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Oh, 
Quick throw to the tight end. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. Gain of six yards. First down. Under pressure. Tackle made right around the 20. That's a team of 19. That makes it first and 10. Second From the 20 yard line, it's first down. Run the middle and nothing there. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and ten. Right left, right left. Four down, four down. Mike Twelve. Mike Tries to get around the corner. And he's tackled at the nine. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Less than three minutes in the game. Florida will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They're at the three. Second down. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And that's his second touchdown of the day. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. And they get the two. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Yellow Jackets were ranked 18th. After that face plant, they'll be lucky to be ranked at all next week. You could almost sense during the week that this team was right to be upset. They showed up, not ready to play, and down they go. The Hokies win it by three in other games. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. And for TCU, they're looking to win two in a row. TCU has the edge, 7 nothing. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese 21-7. Williams ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Alabama's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11. They play like they know they're going to stop you. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down. Here they come. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And that interception, I think, is going to do it, partner. From the 38-yard line, first down. Brought 
down around the 27 yard line. The Gators use their second timeout. Taken down around the 26 yard line. Florida's out of timeouts. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. He's tackled around the 16 yard line. First down. Two times, two times. The 10, he's knocked out of bounds, right around the six yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Under a minute left in the game. Room around the corner, runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it first and goal. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. This is the eighth play of this drive. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one is 21-7. Alabama. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Florida had a few missed opportunities in this game, and I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.